We have our grand final now for the 2019 CPSL between the Katon Hippos and the Yonhan Blue Helmets. Hippos having a very confident win against the Wolves in their semi-final, but the Wolves bouncing back as you may have just seen in that incredible performance against the Leader Tigers with Leo Manahut winning the match for his team in golden goal with that final shot. Excellent work there for the Wolves to get their third place. But now we will see who will become champions of CPSL 2019. Will it be the Hippos or the Blue Helmets? Both these teams facing each other in the final last year. Hippos becoming champions for 2018. We'll see whether the Blue Helmets can exact some revenge on them and become champions for this year. Join me in commentary for this first half. Captain of the Bulls, once again, Anthony Baronson Vinoy. Cuppy, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. That was an exciting game previously, wasn't it? It was, indeed. Entertaining stuff. We'll see what we have in store for this game. Hippos, some incredibly strong shooters on that team. The Blue Helmets just working relentlessly in their semi final with, against the Tigers being able to win that in golden goal with an excellent final shot from their captain, number 10, Alex Lowen. I guess it was a nice strong performance, team performance from Blue that time, I think. The Tigers were struggling a bit and just sort of didn't quite get it over the line as they could have. So introducing the teams now, starting with the Yonham Blue Helmets, number one from France, David Blayo. Number three, also from France, Valentin Gori. Number four, from Italy, Tommaso Ricciardi. Number six, from Germany, Patrick Lawrence. Number seven, from Singapore, Li Xing Fu. Number eight, from Australia, Stephen Hubbard. Number nine, from Spain, Ivan Hoyo Fuentes. And the captain for the Blue Helmets from New Zealand, number 10, Alex Lowen. Introducing the Katon Hippos now, number one, from Hungary, Miklos Timar. Number two, and the captain of the Hippos from Poland, Lucas Pillars. From New Zealand, number three, Cole Hawkins. Number four, from Spain, Angel Gordo Herrero. Number five, from Russia, Ivan Dbeli. Number eight, from the Netherlands, Cherk Webers. And number 11 from Australia, Luke Holmes. The nerves well and truly set in for both teams, I reckon, Jade. Yes, I do believe so, Cuppy. Finals polo, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, anything goes. After all of those performances, it comes down to this game being refereed by Chi Chi Lu from Chinese Taipei and Alan Winter from Wales. It's one thing I know for sure in my career is that finals polo, they can make the best of people do some silly things. We'll see how it affects both of these teams. We do know the hippos love to shoot and shoot regularly. We'll see whether maybe this final game, they're as trigger happy as they have been all season. It's a bit hard not to be trigger happy when you've got eight shooters in your team. <laughs> yeah. Who takes the shot? Who takes the shot? A blue team showing that they are quite capable of winning games as well when it comes down to the finals polo. Bulls came away with the win against the Blue Helmets just by 
by one. We were aiming for a bit more, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. And they've come through with the semi and beaten the Tigers. So I think if we'll play all these games again, I think it might have been a different situation. It's also close with all the teams. It was good to see the table at the end of Season 2 with a lot of contest for that fourth place. Those bottom three teams all finishing on nine points that are having to come down to goal difference. Once again, a big thank you to all of the sponsors of CPSL 2019. It's been a great opportunity to come over, spend the last couple of months with all the players, training together from all different parts of the world. Yeah, we've played some, some mixed teams, eh? We've some Dutch teams and Eastern European playing together and with a social polo in between the CPSL tournaments. We wouldn't get much of a chance to do that any other time. It's strange, Jay, that it's all come down to the last game. Yes. Only 20 minutes of polo. Maybe a little bit more between us and the champions of 2019 CPSL. It's been a fair bit of polo played the last four weeks combined, so... I think all the players will be looking forward to a little bit of a break. Yeah, indeed. You now a few few players have had a few niggling injuries, yourself included, Cuppy. Yeah, a couple of niggly ones. But I think I'm pretty sure that's just because I'm getting old. Both teams lining up for that charge start to get this game underway. Let's see what drama can unfold here. We do have De Bellier taking on Hoya Fuentes. Hippo secured the ball by a nice charge start there. Yeah, great work from Van De Bellier. So Hippo starting with the ball. We had a chat with Alex Lowen about what sort of defense they'll play because the Hippos have been the stronger team. He was unsure. He reckoned that maybe it was good to maybe just pressure out a little bit, unsettle the hippos a bit to try and nullify their shooting options. Some good pressure there by number nine, Ivan, I believe. Great work from the Blue Helmets to win that ball back. Low in there, just giving a cheeky look at it at the team, just a look of a long shot. How much just sitting down to their, their rhythm, I think. They're just trying to feel each other out.
Oh, and Valentin Gori's shot just blocked over for a corner. Great option for a shot clock reset. It's a well, well timed drive. Blue helmets using the minute. A lot of teams in CPSL have been very eager to shoot early. My team included. But the blue helmets in training did spend a lot of time taking that full 60 seconds, holding onto the ball as long as possible. We see how your has fed it inside. He gets it back, David gets it back, luckily. I think they caught him a little bit by surprise. But the passing inside, quite good, good by the blue helmets, just to create the best option. One Patrick shot there just over. So the Hippos do have the ball now. Tabellier oh, shot off, yeah, off the bar and it does fall nicely for the Blue Helmets. A couple of hippos behind the ball as well, so we'll see whether they can get the fast break, but they decide to slow things down a bit. They'll knock the confidence out of the hippos a little bit, because they're, they're used to smashing some bars of late. That last game was quite good. Every shot that they took was went straight in, but a few more bars and they'll start questioning themselves. Hoya Fuentes shot blocked. Just a little cheeky probing shot from outside. I think he was hoping for the foul there. Now with the captain Lowen. Oh, Three paddles to get shot. through. And he puts it in. So the Blue Helmets take the lead first. Yeah. One goal to zero. Great there from the New Zealand player and the captain of the Blue Helmets. Indeed. wonder what he paid to get that goal. It was the last game he couldn't buy any, so... Oh, he did get one that counted. One that counted, but yeah, I think he took four or five before that that just wouldn't go in, so... And even, even talking to him about that goal, where he got in for the semi, he said, like, I don't deserve that, but... It's hard to argue that after the fact, isn't it? On that left-hand side with Goro Herrero. He's got himself through. That'll be a foul. GPS. I'll just see what the referee's called there. Yeah. And it looks like they have called a GPS. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, CPSL does use a different penalty to standard ICF rules. We use an ice hockey style penalty from the halfway mark. The player that was fouled takes the penalty. The opponents will have a goalkeeper in place. They have 10 seconds to shoot. The goalkeeper has to stay on their line. Only a minimum of a green card as well. A yellow can be given, but not necessarily. Oh, well done. Excellent block there from David Vallejo against Goro Herrero. They'll be very happy with that. He'll be ecstatic. Great confidence booster early on in this game. Oh, um, lovely. Picked out the air there by Tommaso, I believe. And we look like we potentially have a fast break on for the Blue Helmets. Oh, out to the other it, side it, to Stephen Hubbard. There. He's got a bit of space. He's been shut down quickly, though. He does get it back to his teammate. And they slow it down. It's a composure. Excellent tracking back from the Hippos to shut that down. Good work there from the Australian to just make sure that he doesn't turn over the ball. I think that ball, that ball from Patrick had been a little bit nicer than it might have been a different story, I reckon. Stephen Hubbard had to fight for it a bit and just lost a bit of time in, in that drive. Yeah. 
So the Blue Helmets winning the free. They do give it to one of their strong shooters, Hoya Fuentes. We'll see whether he tries to put it through the paddles or not. He's got three to get through. Not too sure what's going on here. Referee's just clarifying a few things. I think it's to do with maybe where Hoya Fuentes is positioned. And they do decide to send it out. So just under five minutes left in this first half. Only the one goal to the Blue Helmets. They're both just pushing out the 1-2-2 a little bit, the top two players. I've seen them do quite tight before. It's sort of worked well for them. Looking to jump a little bit. Put that pressure on the top player. You can see how your phone says there, just telling his team they've won the free. It's a reset of the shot clock. Take another 60 seconds. Lovely composure by the blue, I think. They're just playing their game, taking the options as they come. I think that would have been part of their team talk before the game. Yeah. The fact that they are up against an incredibly strong opposition and to make sure that they play the game on their terms. That should be a reset, push without the ball. We do have the reset there as well, so they did give advantage to that foul. Lovely pass in to Hoya Fuentes. Near shot blocked out for a corner. So another reset on that clock. Blue Helmets will be really happy with this extended period in possession. Indeed. Just making the Hippos work in defence, hoping that they can tire them out a bit so that if they do end up at the other end of the field, maybe that extra 1% or 2% will mean that those shots might not go in. Ball with Patrick now. He has looked quite composed in this last last game. Last game he was shooting far too much, he admitted to me when I was talking to him about it. He's only had one shot. I think he shot 20 times last time and didn't get a goal. I think it was close to that. Oh, that is a lovely shot. Excellent goal there for Tommaso Ricciardi, number four for the Blue Helmets. I think it was a little bit unexpected. He did have a bit of a surprise look at his face that that went in. Just a cheeky over the head, sort of far left bar from his position. It was... And we have a, have a 2 0 game. So, yeah, Blue Helmets with a little lead here. Starting to approach the end of this first half. We all know that our leads can dissipate rather quickly. Yeah, we just saw that in the previous game for that third place. The Wolves with a three goal lead that the Tigers fought back to take it to. Golden goal, extra time. Luckily, the Wolves could get that final goal. Oh, lovely shot by Chilek there. Good response from the Hippos to get one back. A few too many paddles in the air there. Not too in the player. And it does look like the Blue Helmets have called a timeout. Two minutes, 18 left on this clock. I think a good performance in this first half so far from the Blue Helmets. Very good, I believe. They're playing well as a team, well composure. I'd be hugely disappointed they let an easy shot like that go in. Yeah, they have to be aware that those hippos are a huge threat. Pretty much every single person on that team is a very strong shooter. That's probably just reassuring the confidence in their te his team. Referee signalling that that one minute of timeout is up. Substitutes make their way off the field. Play will resume from the halfway mark.
Let's see if the blue helmets can sort of hold the ball for the next two minutes. I think that's probably what the plan would have been. Yeah, they definitely will want to retain this lead into the halftime break. Would be nice. Some space on that left-hand side with Hoya Fuentes. Is he going to have to look for the shot? Oh, he feeds it in. Alex. Oh, the shot blocks from the captain, but again, falls nicely for the Blue Helmets. They will have another 60 seconds with that ball. Well-worked no. drive there. Feed into Alex. Fortunately, too many pedals just in the way. They're both doing well to put a couple of people on Alex. They know he's quite of a threat inside. difficult for people. Oh, well done. Excellent goal there for, for the feed. number nine, Ivan Hoya Fuentes from Spain. He had options to give it to Alex as well, possibly. Two paddles there and one minute left in this half. Blue Helmets back out to a two goal lead. Hippos will want to try and get one back on the scoreboard. Reduce that to a one goal lead before the halftime break. Luke Holmes looking for the cheeky feed into Debelli, but it falls for the Blue Helmets. It's now with Xing Fu. With their captain, Lowen. Hippos pressing out the last 30 seconds. Potentially they have called a press. Half press, there's still, I can only see two Hippos here, and there's three Blue Helmets. It may have one keep one person in goals. Watch out for the long shot that sends it to that anchor player. No, everyone is out now. Eight seconds left. That's a foul. Should be anyway. And unlucky there, but we do have the half time. So Blue Helmets with a two goal lead, three goals to one at the end of the first half. Ten minutes left of this game to decide who will be the champions for 2019. Anthony, thank you very much for joining me. It's all right. My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the half. I'll go watch it from the grandstand. Enjoy it from there. Back here for the second half. Ivan doesn't make the sprint there, so the Blue Helmets win possession for the start of this second half. Really tight, tense first half there, Jay. Sure was, David. Was enjoying that 
from the sidelines. I think the Blue Helmets have been quite lucky with two of those goals, especially the one down the middle from Tommaso. Quite a loose shot with a shot clock running out that ended up going in, but you need luck on your side as well in the final. Because uh, looking quite like their usual self. Oh, a bit of space there created for Blayo. Yeah, and a much better save there from Luke Holmes. That will give him confidence for the second half. It's been given as a goal throw. So the Blue Helmets must have played the ball just at the edge of our shot before it went out after the save. So the Hippos have the chance to attack again, aside from that goal from Turk down the middle that was a really nice, really nice finish. They haven't looked quite their threatening self so far, certainly a shadow of the team that was playing so clinically in the semi-final. It's another loose pass there, from Cole, uh, shot from Cole Hawkins. <laughs> Lovely second goal there for Chirk Webbers though. Ball falling kindly for him in the centre. Facing sideways but just puts it in that top corner past Blayo's paddle. So the Hippos reducing that deficit to one goal. Yeah, just the start they would have wanted in the second half obviously. Ten minutes is obviously loads of time to get your two goals back and stay in the game. So they will have just tried to reset at halftime, have a brief discussion about what wasn't going right for them. Blue Helmet's passing has been really crisp around the back in this game. Really made any handling mistakes so far. Yi Jing Fu receives the ball on the right hand side. Happy to run down this shot clock. 17 seconds left on the clock. Feeds it into Gory, gets it to his captain. He's got two paddles to get through. Goes for the punch pass again. Must be his favorite shot of the tournament, having won them. The semi-final yesterday. Forced into that shot by Tiok Webbers. Closing down the space on the right-hand side of the goal. So, Blue Helmets with another opportunity to attack. Nice ball inside. Foul on the shooter. Referees are going to have a discussion here. This could be a penalty. Yeah, they are going to just take a moment to have a discussion. Foul in the act of shooting can be a penalty, would usually be a penalty under ICF rules. CPS rules are a little more lenient to let the game run. Referees are having a discussion though. Just the foul called then. Clearly felt it was marginal whether the ball was out of the hand or not, but close enough for a foul to be given. Hibos have to let Ivan in to take this shot. From where the foul was called. If both have let him through. If they don't, then it could be a penalty anyway. Fari still trying to place the players. Not quite happy. Must make sure they're listening to the referee. He wants him inside the player, which is now allowed. So three paddles for Ivan to go through. And he puts it in. Excellent work there from the Spaniard. Gets another goal and that two goal lead for the Blue Helmets. And that's a really smart finish. I'm sure you can see that on the replay. But he was so tight to the goal face that he could afford to two handed essentially pass the ball into the very top of the net just under the bar over so the top of the blades. We do have a timeout being called by the Hippos. They have been chasing this game from the start, so they do need to have a little bit of a discussion on how they're going to be able to get back into it, equalise, and then get in front. You can see some earnest words there from Patrick Lawrence for the Blue Helmets. They'll be very happy to be two goals ahead. 
but they'll need to use all of their strength, energy, concentration, focus everything to make sure that they stay on top of this game and this game is played on their terms. Yeah, and I'm very surprised to see the Hippos take their time out. You only get one per half so early on in this second half. Still seven, just over seven minutes left in this second half. They are still only two goals down. Could be much more crucial opportunities later on to have a discussion. So their timeout is now used up. Can expect to see either an attacking formation change or a defensive formation change. Otherwise, I'm not sure why they would have called for the timeout during that period. So you see their captain Lucas Pillars and Ivan de Bellier playing on the inside. Webers has got some space. He's got two goals already. He'll be very confident. Yeah, he's really good at receiving the ball at pace and driving into the middle of the zone. Just changing their attacking structure. They've now got three people in. Ivan de Belli now coming back out. Gagolda Herrera now switching in instead. Nothing on for Ivan. Blue Helmet's doing really well to pulse out and to reach these drives early, shut them down so that they don't have that speed to be able to shoot. It's quite slow and laboured from the Hippos though. Maybe just not wanting to take that risk knowing they've got two goals down. Shot clock was running out so Cole Hawkins goes for the paddle shot. Does manage to get it on target but David Blair wise to that. Knew the clock was coming. Great work there from Patrick Lawrence, ball falling to the other side of Cole Hawkins' boat, but being able to flick it out. So we find out what the timeout earlier was for. The Hippos have gone five out, with six minutes still left on this half. So if the Blue Helmets can engineer a goal here under pressure, this game could end up going like the Hippos' semi-final yesterday, where they ended up routing the Wolves when they pushed so early on in the second half to try and remain in the game. So 30 seconds left on this shot clock. A lot of pressure from the Hippos. Their captain, Lowen, has got some space. It was nice play there. And the advantage has been called, so they have a reset on that clock. And the Hippos have dropped back into defense. Yeah, the Blue Helmets aren't the biggest of the six CPSL teams we had this year here. Quite a few lighter, fast players on the team, but they look very comfortable on the ball there. Lowen taking a very prominent role, managing to take it Round the outside of Ivan, under pressure. Not a man you want pressuring you at any point in five out. So 30 seconds left on this shot clock. Great work from Ricciardi to feed it into his captain again. The penalty has been given. I'm not sure what for. Must be the push. We can't see from this angle, but you can see there that the in the very last shot that the boat was clearly right where the player was pushed. So, pushed onto a boat in the act of shooting. It's been given as a penalty. So we've got the hockey style penalty again. One for the Hippos in the first half. This time Lowen will be looking to convert this big moment in this game to go three goals up in the final of CPSL 2019. Alex Lowen has 10 seconds, takes a dribble. Second, loads it up. Excellent goal there for the New Zealand captain of the Blue Helmets. Yeah, it was the New Zealand versus Australia. Oh no, it was Pilars who ended up in net. Interesting there that the Hippos changed their goalkeeper for that penalty. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Their goalkeeper is still on the pitch. It was a foul on the inside there, so it just went from bad to worse for the Hippos. Three goals down. They also received a yellow card in that period, so they're playing with two players currently. It's a minute and 35 left on that yellow card. Considered to be a deliberate and dangerous foul. And Hoya Fuentes' shot is blocked. They will have the corner. We'll see what the Blue Helmets can do with that player advantage. Hippos down to four. It's a long way back. Four minutes, 20 seconds left on the game, but they've got to play. 
We're only getting out three minutes back with five players and the three goals down as it stands. So, Blue Helmets very, very smartly happy to use up this whole minute in 16 that they're down to four players. They could push for the jugular, go for a goal. They will obviously shoot when the shot clock has run out. I expect them to use up the 40 seconds of time that's left here. Needs a pass, gets one. Lowen coming back out again. Comfortable play from the Blue Helmets. So 25 left on the shot clock. This is a fairly horror situation for the Hippos to have to deal with. All they can do is work hard. That's a really nice block there by Lucas Pillars, and he's won his team the ball. So 42 seconds still on the clock. Blue Helmets have three men back here, though. There will be space down the pitch. Can Pillars, that's a nice pass onto the free side of Pillars' boat. Can he make himself free? Blue Helmets haven't pushed four out. They don't need to, so they're quite comfortable to sit up five. We see Chirk trying to get some space in the centre. Sends the ball back out though because he is stopped quite abruptly by that Blue Helmets defence. Some space here though and Webers gets the goal. So that's Ooh. three goals to the Dutch player. That is a massive goal to score with four players on the pitch. We saw the Wolves do it in the last game. That saves their yellow card period. It's currently one all in this yellow card period. Timeout has been called by the Blue Helmet. So three minutes left on this game. Only five seconds left on the yellow card. Two goals in it. It's unfortunate for the Blue Helmets. I thought they played that period really nicely. But full credit to the Hippos to find a goal with only four players on the pitch. Yeah, and that is the threat from the Hippos. They can score from any of their players at any times. And you just see there, Chirk taking the responsibility of getting those goals. But anyone on those teams, on that team, can put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, arguably it's between the Hippos and the Tigers for who had the best finishing quality on their team. In earlier games, the Hippos have strayed from either catching every bar or finishing every shot. This game is right on the balance. So three minutes, two goal lead for the Blue Helmets. See how they set up this attack. They've obviously put their favourite players on the pitch, having had time to take subs and have a rest. We have Patrick Lawrence and Alex Lowen in the middle. You can see that Hippo's defence working really hard. Yep, and again, Blue Helmets happy to use up this time. Not risking any, even 60-40 passes. So 17 seconds on the shot clock now, though. Boy Helmet's feeling very hard done by there. Unclear whether he dropped that ball or it was knocked out of his hand. The players don't care either way, they're up the pitch. Two minutes now, two goals to find. See Luke Holmes working against Patrick Lawrence there on that left hand side. Hippos lacking some penetration, there's no real vigor in these runs at the moment. We've got nothing to lose now, minute and a half, two goals. It's a much nicer run there. They're not found. Blue Helmet's pulsing out a little bit now with only 10 seconds left on this shot clock. It does find its way to Debellier, but his shot is wide. Big save that, and with their keeper not in goal at the time, they've just switched David Blayer back on. Great deflection there from their captain, Alex Lowen.
Big Hawkins. drive from Hawkins across to Webers. On and fourth goal there for the Dutchman. A minute 13, a one goal lead. And now they're pushing five. They've dropped at least one man deep. Not sure if he's coming off. They're bringing off their goalkeeper. I know he's setting up in goal, so they will play four men out. They know they've got to push a little bit. There's only a minute left on the clock, one goal to find. Blue Helmet's happy to play it down that end of the pitch and draw the men. I feel the Hippos need to push five here. I'm not sure why they're keeping a goalkeeper in at this point. Ooh. Oh, Andy Evans found some space. Big moment. Off oh. the bar. And it's dropped for the Hippos, so they will get their opportunity. 42 seconds left in this game. We have timeouts after every ball out of play, so... Nice pass back to Webbers. He's been their best threat. Blocked though. Where's that going to land? Great work from the German Patrick Lawrence to win that ball back. Ooh. Is the foul given there? I believe it has been. It's Hippo's ball. Time out. So there'll be a discussion here as to which way this foul should be. I think the referees disagreed from a distance, so they're having a discussion. Obviously a massive moment in the game, this. Ellen Winter, the referee, on the closer side and on the leading side. Let's see what the verdict is from the referees now. 23 seconds left. Blue Helmet still with the one goal lead. Oh, and it looks like it is for the Blue Helmets. Reversed. So, 23 seconds to hold on to the ball. 23 seconds of pressure from the Hippos. Stranger things have happened in the CPSL so far. Ball has played up the pitch. Hoya Fuentes with it now. Oh, just gets that ball back in time. 14 seconds left. Gordo Herrera with a push. 10 seconds. Nine. Block is made. Can they keep it in? He doesn't. Oh, that was... <laughs> he didn't know anything about it, but that was the opportunity. It's a two-handed throw up the pitch. And the clock has run out. The Yong Hang Blue Helmets are your 2019 CPSL champions. Excellent performance there from the boys in blue. Fantastic scenes here. Incredible story. They were one of the three teams that were fighting to remain in the competition yesterday. They even lost to the Bulls, but not by enough to put them out. With a very strong performance against the Tigers, winning in goal and goal to take them through this final. And they have led this entire final. So excellent performance there from the Blue Helmets against the Hippos. Hippos such a strong team, but the Blues showing that some very good teamwork, some really strong play has paid off and they have got their win. So excellent performance there to be crowned the 2019 CPSL champions. Big thank you to everyone watching all around the world. The stream will continue as we present the awards to the winning team. Our commentary will be signing off for now though. So thank you very much for everyone that has joined us on this journey for this year. Do stay on board for the awards later. I'll see you all next year for 2020 CPSL. Thank you very much.
the young high blue helmet. Thank you all. See you next year for CPSL 2020. Thank you. 